I think I mentioned in a previous video that uh, because I was having so much fun with my sailfly, I wanted to build my own toothpick, and uh, this is the result of that idea. I ordered all these parts from Pyro Drum, and just to go through everything quickly before I show you the maiden flight, this is the uh, Apic Racing toothpick frame, pretty much like the kebab frame except it has room for a battery strap. And I put one in and added my own little battery pads here to keep it from slipping. And the motors are the Hyperlite 1103-8022KV. I think they have a little bit more power than the ones on the Sailfly, but they're not quite as smooth, but I think they do have a little bit more torque. And I'm using the 65mm Who Cares props, same as these, same as on the Sailfly. And this is the Hyperlite toothpick canopy. Really thin, really light, nicely printed, and I did wasn't getting any jello, so it seems to be a good design. And the flight controller is the iFlight uh, F4 12 amp, um, say this how you will, Sucky X success flight controller, and this is the one that has the snackable VTX, and I have the VTX plugged into the bottom. I have the board actually flipped over. The USB is coming out of here. Actually, the nice thing about this frame, it, there does there is room for the USB on the bottom if you have the board mounted that way, so that's pretty good. Uh, and using a combination of the hardware that came with the frame and also with the flight controller, I have uh, two nuts here to lift the grommet up and the mounting point so there's room for the VTX under there. And then this just screws right into the 3D printed canopy. It seems to work all right. And then here's the antenna. It's plugged in here and just routes up through the canopy. It actually comes out at a pretty good angle. And also these antennas. There's a little place for the little antennas to come out. And I'm using an XM Plus in here and a Run Cam Racer Nano. Nice picture from this, especially uh, in relation to the all-in-one that's on the sail flight. It looks quite a bit better, better in low light. So yeah, oh, actually, real quick before I show you the flight, let me weigh them, show you the difference in weight. So the sail flight comes in at about 38 grams, and this one at 47 grams, so about uh, nine grams heavier. And I think you can put all that down really to the camera separate camera VTX and then also the XM Plus receiver that's in there. On this you have the all-in-one and the receiver is built into the to the flight controller so that's I think where the 9 grams is. So it's still not too bad. Oh, and actually let me weigh it with the battery. I'm going to use the same 3S300 that I was using on the Sailfly. Yeah, and with the battery we're looking at 72, 72 grams. So still pretty good, well under 100. So still pretty light and I think that, that's, that's not bad at all. So anyway, I think this is a pretty nice little uh, a little setup and let me show you the Maiden. There's a little bit of uh, oscillation in the first part of the flight and I try to tune some of that out and I think I do an okay job. And we'll probably do some more fine tuning but it has a lot of power and I think a lot of potential and I can't wait to get some more flights in with it.